Imagine stopping a bullet with another bullet. Now imagine doing it at a speed exceeding 15,000 km per hour in the vacuum of a space. This isn't science fiction, it's the reality of kinetic kill vehicle engineering. Hello and welcome. Today we are diving deep into one of the most remarkable advancements in modern defense technology, kinetic kill vehicles or KKVs. Unlike traditional weapons that rely on explosive warheads, KKVs achieve their destructive effects purely through immense force of a direct high velocity collision. This is hit to kill paradigm. So how powerful is KKV? It's about kinetic energy. The destructive potential is directly proportional to the mass and even more significantly the square of its velocity. A KKV achieving a close speed 10 km per second that roughly 22,000 miles per hour possesses an energy density of 50 megajoules per kilogram. To put that into perspective, it's over 10 times greater than TNT. This immense energy transfer upon an impact is enough to ensure the target's destruction without needing any explosive payload. The hit-to-kill approach offers compelling advantages. First, it drastically minimizes the weapon's ma launch mass because there is no heavy water. Every part of the KKB, from its air frame to its unburned fuel, becomes part of the destruction impact. This mass reduction makes interceptors more maneuverable. Secondly, at extreme velocity, a direct impact provides guaranteed destruction, even for hardened targets like ballistic missiles warhead, which fragmentation warhead might only damage. Thirdly, the absence of chemical or explosive payload minimizes collateral damage and environmental contamination. Finally, once the engineering hurdles are overcome, a sticky system allows for far greater precision, straddling to vulnerable point of an incoming missile. But this extreme capability comes with significant challenges. The most formidable is the absolute necessity for pinpoint accuracy, often order of just 0.5 meters or about 2 feet. A miss of even a small margin means complete failure. This demanding requirement has famously been linked to hitting a bullet with a bullet at closing speeds exceeding 15,000 miles per hour. Achieving such precision against high speed, potentially maneuvering targets in space requires exceptionally sophisticated guidance, navigation, and control system. So what makes this marvels of engineering possible? Let's look at the core component, a structural design. KKVs are incredibly compact and lightweight. For example, the exothermic kill vehicle or EKV weighs around 140 pounds. This low mass is crucial for high acceleration and agility. The materials used must withstand immense mechanical stresses and extreme thermal loads from hypersonic travel. We are talking refractory materials and sophisticated composites like carbon, ceramic or metal matrix composites. Propulsion systems. After launch by powerful boosters like ground-based interceptor or a standard missile 3, the KKV uses its rocket motors and an array of small thrusters for precise trajectory and attitude correction. The divert and altitude control system or DACS is vital for maneuvering in a space where aerodynamic surfaces are useless. Modern versions like throttling divert and altitude controls on the SM3 block ID allowed for incredibly precise and on-demand impulses and 360-degree thrust vector control. Avionics and computers. These are the brain of KKV, cutting-edge onboard computers and advanced avionic process, vast amount of sensor data, execute complex guidance algorithm and make real-time decisions. The entire intercept sequence must happen in less than 30 minutes from detection to impact. This demands real-time operating system that prioritize task and strict timing requirements. Perhaps the biggest engineering hurdle lies in sensor technology and target discrimination. KKB rely heavily on sophisticated infrared seeker or multi-spectral sensors to locate targets. The EKB, for instance, uses multi-color sensors. These IR sensors are critical for terminal homing, but they need active cooling, often with cryogens like Krypton to function in the extreme cold of a space. The most challenging aspect in discriminating between a real warhead and various decoys in the vacuum of a space, light and heavy object exhibits remarkable similar motion, making it incredibly difficult for KKB sensors to distinguish them based on brightness changes alone. Adversaries 
can also manipulate decoy characteristics like temperature, coating, and the size to mimic real warheads. To overcome this, KKB systems operate as a part of border integrated missile defense architecture. Ground based radars like C based X band radar and A and TPY, along with space based infrared sensors, provide real time tracking. Sensor fusion is indispensable. Combining information from these diverse sources, radar, infrared, and satellite data to create a unified comprehensive threat picture. Material science and thermal management are equally vital. KKB must withstand immense force and temperature during hypervelocity flight and impact. They need material with exceptional strength, rigidity, and impact resistance to smash through hardened targets. Hypersonic flight generates intense aerodynamic heating, so KKB must require thermal protection system or TPS. They can be passive in insulating materials, semi-passive, or active. This complex challenges necessitates adaptive and multi-layer TPS solution across different flight phases. Today, KKBs are integral part of advanced layer defense missile system architecture. The ground-based mid-course defense GMD protects the U.S. homelands against ICBMs. Aegis ballistic missile defense like SM-3 interceptor provides sea and land-based capabilities against various missile types. Terminal high-altitude area defense third is mobile system for terminal phase intercept and Patriot advanced system pack 3 marks a ship from fragmentation to dedicated heat to kill warhead for certain range threats. Looking to the future, KKB engineering is continuously evolving. Hypersonic missile defense is a major focus with programs like DARPA Glide Breaker, Glide Breaker and Hard 6.0, leverages AI and more powerful radars to counter these unpredictable threats. Artificial intelligence and machine learning are becoming central for enhancing guidance and control and especially for target discrimination. The concept of multi-object kill vehicle or MOKV aims to launch multiple smaller interceptors from a single booster to engage complex threat cluster. And the next generation interceptor is set to replace the EKV in 2030. Beyond the interceptors themselves, advancement in space-based tracking satellites are revolutionizing KKB precision, low Earth orbit conciliation, provide continuous global coverage and low latency data crucial for real-time tracking of maneuvering threats, geostationary Earth orbit satellite offer wider area surveillance and early warning. These satellites combine multi-spectral sensors with edge computing and AI ML to process data on board in dis distinguishing warhead from decoy and reducing ground dependency. This creates a resilient multi-page tracking network. Kinetic kill vehicle engineering stands at the cutting edge of defense technology. It represents fundamental shift towards precision, hypervelocity impact, demanding extraordinary levels of engineering across every subsystem. While the challenges like target estimation against advanced decoys remain a persistent alkyl heel, continuous advancement in sensors, AI, and autonomous systems are pushing the boundaries of what's possible. The pursuit of hitting a bullet with a bullet and ensuring national and global security will continue to drive innovation in dynamic and demanding fields. If you like this video, please subscribe, share, and like this video.